starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Mom, can you let Porky in? I'm upstairs, dressing. Leslie, go let Porky in. Hiya, girl. Mom, have you seen my shoes? No, dear, I haven't. Hi, Pork. Good. Boy, you guys are sure slow. I can't find my shoes. Well, some of the shoes are in the kitchen on a stool. Oh, I forgot. I left them there after I polished them. Leslie, go get my shoes. Go on. Thanks, girl. Unless you going to the wedding, too? No. Mom says weddings are no place for dogs. Yeah, Pookie's got to stay home, too. A lot of dang nonsense, that's what it is. Why a man's got to get himself roped into shenanigans like this is more than I'll ever know. Dad, stop your grumbling. Oh, thank you, Lassie. I like bow ties better than that kind. Who tied it for you? Jeff, can you get these links in here? This starch has made these cuffs stiffer in a board. Sure. Can I help you, Mr. Miller? You take one cuff. I'll do this one. Okay. Are your hands clean? Cleaner than they've ever been in my whole life. Right. I wonder why that fool Curtis girl didn't just stop and elope instead of having a church wedding. Whoops. <laughs> Looks like Lassie's helping everyone get dressed around here. Yeah, just like Cinderella. She does all the work and then has to stay home. Well, I'll gladly change places with her. Me too. With all that wedding cake? Oh, well... <laughs> oh, good heavens, aren't you ready yet? Wow! Don't you look elegant, Sylvester. Sylvester? Oh, you look so distinguished, I couldn't possibly call you Porky. Mm, I don't feel extinguished. <laughs> I have to leave poor old Porky home. Now, don't you start that. I've been all through it with Jeff. Oh, I still don't see what Lassie's gonna do here all by herself. Mm, she'll probably do very well. Now, please hurry. We have to be at the church in 15 minutes. 15? Jeff! Coming! Lassie, you stay here and watch the house and be a good girl. I'll get back as soon as I can. How about a cookie? You all right? There you go. Do you want one too? There you go. Come on. Come on. You know. 
Ah, it's about time. I'm sorry, I had carburetor trouble. Where's Kenny? Oh, he quit Saturday. I'm taking over the route. Okay. But I gotta have my delivery by 10 or it ain't no good to me. I told you, I had carburetor trouble. I sell pie to my customers, not excuses. Hey, come out of here a minute. What's your name again? Al. Al. Get those pies in and then cut them up. The dishes will wait till later. Okay. Hi. Hi. You that way all the time? I don't know. I just started to work here this morning. Five apples. Oh, what do you know? Where'd they come from? About two miles down the road. <laughs> I gave them each a cookie. They followed me down. No, no. No, no. You got all you're gonna get. No more. No more. That's enough. Boy, they're hungry, huh? You ever see a dog in one? Let's see, that's uh, three coconuts and two peach. That's it. Okay. You hang around, I'll get you something in a minute, huh? Let that mud in here. Get out. Get out. Go on, get out of here. Remember what I told you. Ten o'clock or I don't want the stuff. I heard you the first time. Filet mignon, but it's real meat. Is that all you've got to do? Oh, they were hungry. Now, ain't that too bad? I ain't paying you to feed stray mutts. Now, get in there and wash up them dishes. All right, you dog, scat! Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah? Yeah. I'm thinking that chances are a guy that's mean to animals is probably twice as mean to people. And you know, life's too short. It's just too short to be working for that kind of guy. Just because I gave you a handout's no reason you gotta keep following me. Both of you must belong to somebody. Why don't you go on home, huh? Okay, if that's the way you feel about it. Come on, let's go. Want a ride, buddy? Going up through Calvin. Sure, thanks. Hopping back. Plenty of room. Yeah, sure. Riding's better than walking. Come on, boys. Come on, Yeah, yeah. You go jumping off at this speed, you'll be breaking your neck. I'm sorry, boy. Hey, wait a minute. Ah, this will do it. Ah, whoops. No, you don't like to be tied up any more than I do, but I don't want you falling off. Let's see now. We've got to find a name for you, haven't we? I had a girl once all white and gold and pretty like you. The name of Jenny. How's that sound? Okay? <laughs> all right, from now on, you're Jenny and we're pals.
I cut off here for Greenville. You'd do better staying on the county road. Yeah, might be best. Better stretch our legs, eh, Jenny? Thanks. Thanks very much. Good luck to you. Yeah. You ain't trying to run away again now, are you? You want to go that way, girl? Well, it doesn't make no difference to us now, does it? Just as long as we get us some work, huh? To it. Got run over. Well, that's too bad. Is your daddy around someplace? He's over there. Oh, look! Daddy! Oh, Daddy! Daddy, look! See, Jenny's carrying my flowers for me. <laughs> nice, Jenny, nice. Betsy, never pet a strange dog. Well, you don't have to worry about Jenny now, mister. She's as gentle as they come. You see, she's just crazy about kids. Yeah, it seems to be. Could she have some water? I think she's thirsty. <laughs> Understands everything you say, doesn't she? Just about. A real smart dog. Can I give her a drink of water, Daddy? Sure, honey, go ahead. <laughs> seems like my kid's taking a shine to her. Oh, I can't blame her. Can I give you a hand there? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, she's crazy about dogs. Yeah, I can see that. Poor kid. Moped around for days when she lost hers. There you go. Glad to see she's getting over it. Say, uh, you wouldn't be looking for work, would you? How'd you guess? <laughs> Bert Collins up the road a piece can use a man. Told me so yesterday. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. Here you are, Jenny. Now, don't drink too fast to get the hiccoughs. Hold it, that's enough. There. Sure is hot. <laughs> hey, mister, Jimmy. watch your dog. This is what she was after? Betsy, you've been told not to touch matches. She scare you, honey? No. Say, uh, wouldn't think of selling her, would you? Oh, Daddy, you mean I could keep her? Honey, I only asked the man. Besides, I'm not sure you're big enough to take care of a dog yet. Oh, but I am. See? I take real good care of her. Sorry, I... Uh, I opened my mouth without thinking. That's all right. Guess it's better for a dog to have a good home. Better than chasing around the country the way I do. She'd have a good home here. Yeah, they sure seem to get along well. Of course, she might take to straying again. But if you treat her right, I... I think she'd settle down. <laughs> How much? Ten? Twenty? Put it away, mister. I reckon I just can't sell her. Yeah, I guess I understand. No, I don't think you do. You see, a, a guy like me has always had to ask for things. A job, a, a meal, even. But just for once, if I could have something that I could give, it'd make me feel real good. You understand? Yeah. This will make her easier to hold on to. Now you hang on to her, Betsy. Oh, thank you, mister. Uh. It isn't often a guy gets a chance to make somebody happy like this. Are you sure I can't? Uh... Don't spoil it, mister. This way we're all happy. Bye. Bye, honey.
you look real pretty. How you getting along, honey? Oh, I love her, Daddy. <laughs> well, you keep an eye on her now, like the man said. I will. Now, let's go get some flowers for your bonnet. I guess so. I'm sorry, baby. I'm not gonna cry. If Jenny didn't want to be with us, and she loved him better, then she's his dog. I guess you are growing up after all, aren't you? I'm a big girl. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do, big girl. This very minute, you and I will go down and get you a dog of your very own. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> of course, it won't be easy to find a dog as nice as Jenny, but... We can try. His uncle. What is it? Hey, look, look at that rope. It's caught in that old log. Mm, she ran out on the road on purpose to stop us and get help. Mm, it's a smart dog. Oh, and pretty, too. Oh, 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 there. Take it easy. She's frightened. Hey, there's nothing to be frightened about. Now, now, now look, don't you pull her. What? Don't you pull her, Harry. Well, I ain't pulling her. She's pulling me. <laughs> Here, we're not gonna hurt you, girl. She's awful hot, Harry. I'll get her some water. Now, just a minute. Wait a minute, girl. Come on. Let's go get a nice cold drink of water. Come on. Here, you better let her come in out of the sun. And take that rope off her neck. It must be choking her. Hey, come on, girl. Oh. It's cool in here. Here, let me have the rope, Harry. Come on, lady. Come on, girl. Come on, nobody's gonna hurt you. Shut the door. Shut the door, quick. That's okay. Look, Emma, I can't take no more of it. I told you, dog, that big wouldn't stay cooped up in there. But she's only been barking for the last five minutes, Harry. Yeah, and she's liable to keep barking for the next five hours. I'm going to let her out. Please, Harry. Now, look, it ain't no use. That dog belongs to someone else, and she don't want to stay here. Now, now look, I'll tell you what I'll do, Emma. I'll buy you a pup in Madison. A cocker spaniel or a fox terrier. How's that?
home, Jeff, because I gotta be spoken. Okay, so long, Cora. See you later. Bye, Mrs. Miller. Goodbye, Cora. Bye now. Oh. oh, but you thought we were never coming back. And I'll bet she never gave us a thought. She's probably been sleeping in your room all day. Well, it's no fun being here by yourself and having nothing to do, is it, girl? Now, as soon as I get out of these clothes, we'll play. You need the exercise. Mm -hmm.